This video is to show you how you can take the template in Google Classroom and reuse it for any artist statements you need to do when you turn in and complete your work. Open up the assignment so that way you know what your requirements are. And then you're going to go back to the resources tab in your classroom and make a copy of the artist statement. To do this, you're going to go file, scroll down to make a copy, retitle it so that way you know what it is. So for this example, I'm putting in mini gallery and make a copy. The first page just kind of goes over what an artist statement is and what I expect yours to kind of be about. Then the second page is an example that I have written about a personal painting. Type over the information that I have there and make it personal and unique to whatever you have been creating. Once you get finished typing out what you want to say, you're going to insert an image by going to insert and either upload from your computer or device or find it in your Google Drive. Once it loads in there, you're going to resize it so that it fits your text well. If you do not take a close up picture using your phone, then you can come in and crop the picture in Google Docs to make it more appropriate for the space because this is what we want to focus on is what, you, what your work is, what you did. And then you're going to wrap your text so that way the picture lines up next to the words. For a project like the mini gallery where you have more than one piece, you're going to do an artist statement for each piece. Please remember that the artist statement is going to be around five sentences. It's not a whole lot of work. Once you have completed all five artist statements for each piece, I would like for you to add a picture of your total gallery from at least two different viewpoints and tell us a little bit about what your gallery is and the theme between the pieces that you put together. This could be very obvious like summertime or it could be that you're using the same tone of blue throughout. When you're going to put more than one image with a single artist statement, wrap the text so that way they're next to each other and so it has a cohesive look. Now you need to go in and find your rubric that we made at the beginning of the year. Make a copy of it as well and title it for whatever piece it is that you're reviewing. So for this one I titled it Mini Gallery. And then I want you to go and I want you to give yourself a grade for each category that you came up with based on how you felt you did. Once you have both of these files complete, you can go in to Google Classroom again and go to the assignment where we're turning them in and insert from your drive, find them, attach them, and hit submit. It's on your phone instead of a normal computer. It's a little different, but not far. So you're gonna open up the artist statement, select the pencil, and then from here, we're going to have to make a copy. The make a copy option is in the three dots on the top right hand side. Share and export and then go down to make a copy. Again, I would title it with something that's easy to find. In this case, it's going to be mini gallery. And then you can edit just like we did in the other one. After you finish editing the text, you're going to go and add a picture. This can be a little tricky sometimes. You're going to swipe up until you get the plus sign at the top of the screen. You can see I'm having trouble getting it to show up when I want it to. Press the plus sign, add an image, and you can do this from your photos or from your camera roll. Select to resize. And you can also change the text wrapping from here and move it to where it fits in your text. When you're ready to upload it, go back to Google Classroom, 
find the place where it's due, the assignment that it's due. So right here, it's mini gallery. I already have the last one submitted, so I'm going to unsubmit them real quick so you can see how to do it from your phone. You're going to click Add Work and go into your Google Drive and select the two files that you just completed. Once you have both of those files attached, you hit submit and you're turned in.